All right, hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda back here once again on the Outlast Trials, and we are going to be finishing off weekly therapy number 27, which is the Capgrass Delusion here on the intensive difficulty, and we are on the final trial of the weekly, which is shut down the factory. If you're wondering why I'm on intensive with my standard setup here, please check out one of the first two videos in this weekly where I explain it in a bit more detail, but short, long story short, I am on a time crunch. Speaking of time crunch, kind of, if you missed it, the last video for this weekly, Release the Prisoners, I had one of the greatest runs I probably will ever have on that trial. So if you missed that one, I definitely recommend you check it out. It was pretty crazy. But anyways, we are still dealing with the same three event variators, those are the ones that are the event is based around, the weekly, rather, is based around. More imposters, no player names, and no radio. No radio has no impact in solo, but more imposters with no player names can make those sneaky little buggers quite the pain. Additionally, we have increased threat and limited intel, and I'm rocking my standard set of the Stunder Drift Shaman and Cognito. We're going to jump into this one. Shut down the factory. Um, I'm thinking about it. There's this, there's incinerate the toys and crush the toys. Are those, those are the only toy factory MKs, right? I'm racking my brain and I can't think of any others, so. Yeah, I mean, it's possible I am uh, misremembering, but, and feel free to enlighten me in the comments, but. Regardless, I do think this is probably my favorite MK of the Toy Factory variety at this point in time. It was one that I kind of didn't like to begin with, but it has grown on me a decent amount. Well, you know, I enjoy it. I quite enjoy doing this one. You heard that? <laughs> How often without the uh, without the be quiet or whatever, or make no noise rather, is the name. That deadly variator. How often can you say that you got heard by flipping the generator switches outside of, of one of those variators? I, I honestly couldn't say it's happened to me very often at all. With those, of course, being the quietest sound level in the game, I do believe the flashing level one sound, it's no surprise. Okay, um, so that's Gooseberry. Oh, that's a really slow vault animation. Wow, that's a really slow vault animation. <laughs> I love that voice line. They're laughing at you, Phyllis! Is that what you want? Too good. Alright, we have one poster. This trial, I find, can be... Like, sleeper annoying in terms of posters, but that's not enough to make me too upset about it. We're going to jump in here. That's just the pusher this time. Sorry if this is jarring, but I just want to be aware of when he leaves so I can get out. Um, okay, we need to get in here. Oh, no. Wait, what? What? That's good to see that there's another poster here, at least. So we should probably be able to find a third one within B or, or A somewhere. Where is this wire going? It does go in here. Okay, that has to be... Oh. I forgot we have stupid gooseberry. Uh... Where's the freaking door? Ah. Well, it's sort of a door. I, I'm waiting for my stun, kind of, but then she didn't even come in here? No way. God. My clicks aren't uh, on point at the moment. That was weird, though. I thought I was going to have to do a little bit of fancy footwork to still get Gooseberry with my stun rig there, but she didn't even somehow come in the room, so 
had to deal with that guy. But um, yeah, here is A. I don't think we've gotten either of the B section. I'm pretty sure. Downstairs in B is usually, or did we get one? It's usually in the bathroom place here somewhere, no? Hmm. Oh, is that? That's just bad. Okay. Uh, so we can obviously look for the. Oh, there's a jumper. Ah, uh, here we go. Is that leading around us into here? Yes. Ah, darn. All right. Who's opening doors? Stop. Oh, what the frick? Okay, both of B. Oh, they're upstairs in the bathroom area. I see. That makes sense. Strange that they have these, like, two bathroom areas kind of vertically stacked. That seems to make little sense. Wait, what? Where did... I'm confused, officially. Oh, the wire... It comes back. Okay, I'm just gonna go in here. Oh yeah, actually a bad idea. But I'm af afraid of a imposter coming at the moment. Alright. That should be good enough. I don't know. Well, I, f I always forget about that animation because it like didn't used to be in the game. It just freaks me out. Um, whoa, relax. Oh, hey. It's the pusher. Uh, where's the stairs? Back here. Yeah, to our left. Or no. Yes, yes. Stairs are right here. Perfect. Now we just need to shut down the actual factory. So, things went fairly well, I would say. And don't forget to smash the like button, folks. I know I messed up the timing on that, but... I hope you can cut me some slack. I've been going at this for a few hours now, I believe, at least. I'm not sure. But it's been a bit of a bit of a grind to get this. I know, so if you're running, you really debatably don't have time to react to those guys. So how can you how can you blame me? Honestly. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, didn't sound like I got spotted there somehow, so we're just going. We're just going. Boom, son. And that is going to do it for us. We have successfully succeeded in shutting down the factory. I don't believe I got any demerits. And that should be a good, solid A-plus to round out the weekly. Indeed, A-plus, 7 minutes, 31 seconds, shut down the factory, Capgrass Delusion Intensive here. And hopefully you should be seeing this before Saturday, before this week end. Uh, that is my goal for myself. And then we will be moving on to the new weekly, which starts in just about 9 hours from now. And that is going to be the humbling. So that'll be interesting. I don't know what exactly that entails, but the uh, the poster icon on the calendar does look quite uh, spooky. It has um, a heart that is basically empty, a backpack with a crossed out, you know, like a do not enter, like crossed out thing on it, and an exclamation mark sign with a skull. So... Hurt and hobbled. Sounds like it might be a tough one. But yeah, that is it for this weekly. Uh, currently, I'm 72% of the way done with the Project Lupara catalog. If you were curious, just going through that as I do these weeklies for the most part. 
And um, yeah, no news that I've seen of anything in the future at the moment. We just have the current weekly calendar that we're working with. After the humbling of next week, it becomes crossed signals, only the voices in your head. And that, as far as I know, is as far as we go in the future at the moment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.